But Ebenezer Hack, the world is not as it seems. Bring forth my sack. I shall illustrate Ebenezer Hack by telling you the charming tale of ancient China. The ancient Chinese ketchup trick. You've seen it before. Long ago, in the days of ancient China, small Chinese boys and girls would come running out of their huts, skipping, dancing, laughing when the ketchup man came to town. <laughs> and these wandering itinerant condiment vendors traveled from village to village, from prefecture to prefecture, performing their fantastic feats of ketchup. <laughs> but as you know, China is large and mountainous, and the ketchup men were few. And eventually, the ketchup was gone. <laughs> but then, oh, happy day, when winter turned to spring and once again the smell of lotus blossoms and tomatoes was in the air. The small Chinese boys and girls would come running out of their huts. Kenichiwa, Kenichiwa, they'd say. <laughs> <laughs> and then their parents would beat them for speaking Japanese. That's a smart crowd, all right. But the blows didn't sing so much for the ketchup had returned. But then, with the rise of the Hung Dynasty, condiments of all sorts fell out of favor and food is mysteriously bland. For the ketchup, was gone. What do you, do you need more, do you not trust me? You need more proof, really? <laughs> All right. Yep, gone. <laughs> Until today, a happy day. A sad, sad day when the <laughs> red of communism has spread across the face of China <laughs> and the days of the simple ketchup men are <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs>